Ten years ago, on August 29th, the massive hurricane almost the size of Texas made landfall over New Orleans. As 140 mile an hour winds pummeled the city, storm surges smashed their levees and flooded the Big Easy. The storm was awful, and the response to it worse still. But are we going to see more storms like this in the future? Are they getting worse? Hey everyone, thanks for watching D News Today, I'm Trace. Hurricanes, aka tropical cyclones, aka typhoons, are massive tropical storms that form over the oceans in tropical equatorial regions and then are spun out into the open ocean. They form because moist warm air from the tropics gets pulled high into the atmosphere where it cools causing it to fall back to the water. This cycle starts spinning and eventually a tropical storm results. From 1963 to 2012, half of all deaths from storms were because of storm surge, massive water pressed inland by the storm, not by wind. It goes up to 75% if you include rainfall. The deadliest in U.S. history was the Great Galveston Hurricane in 1900, when a hurricane with 156 mile an hour winds slammed into Texas, killing thousands. Weather services had warned beachgoers, but many ignored the warning and were lost to 15 foot storm surges that flooded the city. Using words like worse or stronger when you're describing a storm, that doesn't really work. Because there are so many factors, wind speed, storm surges, precipitation, formation time, ground speed. But just to keep it simple, yeah, storms are getting worse. Why? You already know why. Because Earth is warming. Storms are all connected to heat and the movement of that heat through the atmosphere. Sea level rise creates larger storm surges and ocean surface temperature increases add heat and moisture to the atmosphere. All of this contributes to storm worsening. But before you go and look up sea ice estimates, remember physics class. Warm water expands. The ocean is really big and molecules are really small, but when they expand even a little, there's just so much ocean that it is noticeable from space. Yes, melting glaciers can compound the problem, but like ice in a glass, they're also keeping the oceans nice and cool. The problem is we're running out of sea ice. Sea levels have already gone up between four and eight inches in the last 100 years and are looking to go up as much as 36 in the next 100. According to NASA's Earth Observatory, charged with monitoring our changing planet by satellite, over the last few decades, satellite-based studies found hurricanes intensify faster today than they did in the 1980s. That extreme downpours happen 30% more often. Tropical storms are dropping 24% more rain, and there were twice as many snowstorms from 1961 to 2010 than from 1900 to 1960. In fact, precipitation has increased 76% since 1948 across the board, according to their data. That includes both rainfall and snowfall. And a 2008 study from Florida State University found hurricane wind speeds have increased 11% since the 80s. Look, temperatures have gone up, both on land and in the ocean. This means it's getting warmer and wetter. The ocean isn't a lot warmer, only about a third of a degree Celsius overall, but it doesn't take that much. And if this is just one third of a degree increase, imagine the problems when it goes up between one and six degrees C over the next 85 years, like the EPA says it's gonna. This means even more increased winds, precipitation, storms, and so on. And it's not just about hurricanes, remember, snowstorms too. A bunch of agencies are all working on understanding storms better so that we can better predict them. But mainly it comes down to accurate climate modeling. Buoys are floating all over the ocean, satellites are watching from space, and ground stations and ships are all monitoring winds, temperatures, moisture. Every piece of this data can then be used to model storm formation. A new study from the University of Arizona came out last March which increased forecasting accuracy by 23% in the North Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico, where the worst of climate change storms are hitting. But to be honest, the best we can do is get out of the way. From 1970 to 2002, U.S. hurricanes cost $57 billion. That's more than earthquakes or human-caused disasters in the same period. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina caused more than $100 billion in damage alone. That was the third deadliest hurricane to hit the United States. Lives, property, and livelihoods are all impacted, and if we do nothing, sea levels are just gonna rise more, our global ice is gonna melt, and like drinking warm soda, we're all gonna be pretty upset, to put it mildly. If you want to know a little bit more about what we've learned in the 10 years since Hurricane Katrina made landfall, check out our friends over on Test Tube News who covered that here. The model for determining their strength specifically excluded severe storms in order to make the calculations easier. It was considered the worst civil engineering disaster in the United States. Thanks for watching D News, everybody. Please subscribe so you get more science videos every single day of the week, and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>